So what's up, y'all? It's your boy DJ Kids. I'm Jones once again. Um, and this video is how to save the St. Louis hip hop scene. Now I'm putting this on my YouTube, and Facebook, and Facebook page, and um, and the reason why I made this video, I made a couple of Facebook live videos um, last week talking about the real rap discussions that's getting ready this this discussion series or this event that's getting ready to happen next week and uh, I want everybody to go over to uh, Rob Boo's page uh, he's a promoter and event planner here in St. Louis and he's going to have several industry St. Louis uh, industry analysts um, say, or, or people in the industry um, Boogie D, the program director at Hot 104, Wishmaster, he's a producer and engineer um, for Dirty NT Thistle, who's a uh, very successful uh, independent Christian hip hop artist, and other people have come through as well. Um, I encourage everybody to go to that event, but. Um, I, I, this is not a video to downplay that event, but I'm going to just give y'all uh, some key points on how uh, how to save the uh, scene as well as to enhance your career. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. You should not consider to be a rapper unless you are, or an artist or whatever, unless you are financially stable. Unless you, you know, have a strong and solid base um, uh, where your money, you have money saved for yourself, for your family, um, your bills are caught up or you're ahead on your bills and you have a budget set aside for your career, you really don't need to jump into the music game unless your budget, you have a legitimate budget because there are tools and companies and resources and things of that nature that you can use and some of them are in your own backyard. Um, I used to work with a company called My Check Global, and uh, you know, I'm not working with them anymore. But I will uh, be using, you know, their services and uh, patronizing them because I've seen that the their program works. You know. Um, that their, that their services work um, in building my audience online, building my fan base online. So, you know, when I release music or whatever, my videos or whatever, that I have a solid audience of people who are interacting with me and consuming my material. Then I'm going to get with uh, Addicted Dopeness and uh, Mean Girls Media because they have connections with a lot of smaller radio stations that I get my music played outside of St. Louis. And that's the key, you know, um, to get, to have a, if you don't have a fan base and you don't have people that are playing your record, that are getting your record circulated and you're able to see the metrics on your, um, uh, see the metrics of where your music is being played, how many times X, Y, and Z, and getting a, a check cut for that, then you're really wasting your time. Um, you know, um, those are just two, and then, you know, you can always take out Facebook ads, take out ads on the social media platform, go to somebody who has a popping page to have them to repost your video, or post the video on their pages. Um, and really, you have to do all of these things, you know, to get your music noticed so you're not just putting out mixtape after mixtape, material after material, and, you know, 
th these are the things that you have to do in order um, to get noticed. And you're going to have to tour outside of St. Louis. You might have to pay to be on shows. You might have to have a dedicated budget to where you're paying to be on showcases, that you are everywhere, and then you go to the South by Southwest, you you know, that you're there, that you have shows everywhere. And, and then, as your face gets hot, and you go to these different places, and you go to these talent shows, and you go to these, you know, showcases and things of that nature, when your face gets hot enough, you'll be able to really capitalize off your music. But if you think staying in St. Louis and doing shows in front of big name artists or, uh, you know, going to a show outside of, out of town every now and then, or, you know, you think that that's going to work, it's not. I'm just here to tell you that it's not. And, and, uh, and the thing that we could do to fast track it is work together. If we work together, and I know it sounds cl crazy or cliche or whatever, but if we work together, it would fast track a lot of people's careers. But people have to put their pride and everything else to the side so that um, everybody can. That's basically what happened with the lunatics. Like the lunatics came in as a package deal. The label wanted Nelly, and since they got Nelly, then we got the lunatics out. You know, that just was yesterday's uh, celebrated 16th anniversary. Then we got the, uh, what did we get? Then we got the Murphy Lee out. Then we got the Ali out. Then we got the Ali and Gip project. Then we got all the, you know, then we got Chingy. Then we got Jaquan. Then we got this person. Then we got this person. And the reason why it worked was because everybody had a camaraderie. Now, once start, people started making a little money and started feeling themselves and stopped creating content, quality content and stopped working together, that's how everything crumbled. So, in order for us to, to do that again, we have to work with each other, not charging, not charging, period, for features, going to each other's shows on, on both sides of the fence, the hip-hop crowd and the party scene, um... And then taking out a budget if you want to do, you know, radio. If, you're, if you've already invested into, you know, your campaign over at My Check Global and your campaign with Addicted Dopeness and Mean Girls Media, and you've already done those things, then, you know, it'll make it easier for you. But if you think you're just going to, you know, spend as little money as possible, I'm just letting you know as an artist you're going to have to spend money you know, and really invest and not just think that your music is dope enough because we, we don't live in an era anymore. Everybody is getting their music circulated somehow. Somebody is get, is posting up the music and it's taking off like that. Somebody is, you know, somebody has marketing and it's taking off like that. Some people, you know, um, it, it's, it's something that is setting off them being noticed. And the people who do the things that I'm saying tend to be the most uh, uh, popular and the most successful in the rap game. So don't think you're going to get through on a shoestring budget. You know what I'm saying? Don't think that it is something that just happened by accident that these people were on. And don't think that these labels or these other rappers that are successful are going to put you in a position to eat because they can only make themselves pop. You know what I'm saying, but they can't make each other uh, uh, make each other pop. So you know, it's your boy. Make sure that y'all uh, like, comment, favorite, subscribe, all that. Turn notifications on for when I post. You know, and everything else like that. Hit the notifications bell on YouTube. Notifications on Facebook, and uh, yeah, that, that's how we save the scene right there. You know, investing in our, in uh, ourselves, in each other, and working together. This your boy. I'm out. Peace.